And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, we're going to check out three mini expansions for a very popular game from Stronghold Games called Survive Escape from Atlantis. Now in these three expansions, one of them is allowing you to play for five to six players, which is awesome. Then we also look at the dolphin and dive dice. It brings a new dolphin into it and some different dice to use. And then finally, we're going to look at the giant squid expansion. So let's check it out, see how these three different expansions play, and see which ones I think are a must-have. In the five and six player expansion, we now have two new colors. And we've got uh, the nice little orange ones here. And we have the white ones. Here we have it set up with a six player variant. We're actually using the overpopulated variant of this. Normally, if you start with five or six players, you take a certain amount of people out of uh, the game at the beginning so it's not so overpopulated or you could play with everybody having all ten people over the island with a few different rules of you can't have two people of the same color on the same tile and there could never be more than two people on the same tile but other than that it's just as you can see pretty overpopulated and it's quite fun to play this way for example in the five player game you'd take everyone would take out their one point person and a three point person so you'd have eight of them and in a six player game every person would remove a one point, a two point, and a three point person. So every everyone would have seven people. But of course in this case, everybody has 10. There is one rule difference when playing with the overpopulated variant, uh, where if a tile gets pulled out and sunk, and let's say these two people got sunk, uh, assuming there's no shark there, these people each get to take one move there. Now if there was a shark there, they would have died first but if, uh, if they get sunk, anybody gets sunk, even if it's just a single person, they all get one move uh, from after being sunk. They don't have to take it, it's just an option. In the Dolphin and Dive Dice expansion, the red creature die is uh, replaced with these two dive dice. And how it works is uh, on your turn, instead of rolling the red die, you gotta roll both of these. And what happens is you now have a number and a creature. Now, instead of the old rules, which had certain creatures moving only certain distances, now those distances are being done by the dice. So it's a little bit more random, a little bit more chaotic. Uh, you can't always think that the sea serpents can't move three to come get you. So in this case, if there was a whale here, I could move them three. Now you can move them up to three, so anywhere from you know zero to three, but up to three, this one could move. So here on the dice, we have a boat. And uh, this would mean that you can move any unoccupied boat uh, up to two spaces. Of course, we have the shark and the sea serpent like before. We have a starfish, which is a wild. You could choose any of them, uh, whether it's the dolphin, the uh, sea serpent, the shark, or the unoccupied boat, or the dolphins. Uh, you could move them wild uh, up to two. So let's talk about these dolphins a little further. Let's say in someone's turn, it's, it's time for them to sink a tile. And let's say they select this one. They sink this tile, these people sink, and it is the normal help a dolphin. So this is the one where typically in the normal game you would hold on to this because it's red, and you could play it later at the beginning of one of your turns to move one of your swimmers uh, three spots. Well that no longer does this with the dolphin uh, expansion. What you do is this tile now gets discarded back into the box, and a dolphin's placed right where it is. Now if there's two people here, the overpopulated, I believe the person that, that sunk the tile gets to say which person's protected. And so maybe the yellow one is protected. What this means is that if a shark or a sea serpent or any other creature came in to here, this person is protected by uh, the dolphin protects them. So they would not get uh, eaten by the shark. So as they move, they could be protected uh, with this dolphin. So someone rolled the dive dice and they rolled a dolphin two and they were not the yellow team at the time. Uh, they could move this dolphin away from you and now you're no longer protected. Or if it was the blue guy, they could actually bring him here and protect this guy, assuming the shark was not there. The dive, the dive dice also has a D, and this means, uh, well, two things. One is if you're moving a creature, it means dive. And this allows you to move this specific creature uh, any unoccupied space. So if I roll the whale in a D, 
I could, the, the whale dives and I could put them in uh, any unoccupied space. Same for any of these uh, uh, different creatures. Now, if it comes up with a boat, uh, essentially uh, it drifted and you can drift it to any unoccupied space. So let's talk about the giant squid expansion. So in a turn, let's say someone uh, sinks this tile here and we get the whale tile, which would normally mean put a whale here. Now you get to put a whale here, but also the giant squid can come into play. And the giant squid by the person whose turn that was gets to put it to any adjacent part of the island. And let's say they put it right here. Now by the rules, this, uh, Squid gets to attack and kill one of the people off of this island right here, right when it comes out. And boom, the red guy's gone. Now some people think this is a little bit too powerful. Um, so there is a variant in the rules that when the squid first shows up and gets placed somewhere, he doesn't kill that round. But if he gets moved later on, uh, he can kill. And that's actually the way I play it because I think they, it, man, they just, they just destroy things like crazy. So the whales and the squids are pretty much, uh, they're adversaries of each other. So anytime you, you uh, get a tile where you can move a whale, you can move a squid instead. Anytime you roll the dive dice and it's the whale, you can move the squid or the whale up to two. And anytime a squid moves, if it comes in contact with a tile that's adjacent here that has a person, he must stop and kill one of these people. Uh, also, if he moves into a square or a hex that has a boat with a person, he must stop and kill one of the people off the boat. So that's pretty much how the squids work. They kill people on the same hex with people in the boat, and they kill people that are adjacent on the edge of the island. They go off and they grab them. Now the whales, and since they're adversaries, if a squid moves onto a whale, the whale is killed. If a whale moves onto a squid, the squid is killed. So they sort of battle each other out, uh, but when you get, anytime you move a whale, you can move a whale or a squid. Other than the whale, the squid can be moved into a spot with any other sea creature. The whale's the only one that it doesn't get along with. All right, well, there's the expansions. So let's talk about the five to six player first. I love this idea because I've always wanted to be able to play with more players. So many times we look at each other and we're like, oh, there's five of us. Ah, can't play survive. Even though we really wanted to play it. So I really love the idea that they've allowed you to play five or six. Um, so it, it opens it up. I love the overpopulated version of this where there's just two or more pe two people on a lot of the tiles. Um, you still get all 10 of your people. You still got to remember all the numbers. Uh, it's a lot of fun in that regard. Now the only bad side to that, the, or the, 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 the other side of that coin, is with six people, it can take a little while for it to get around to your turn, um, especially if people aren't, aren't you know, ready to move when it's their turn. So if you have people that are prone to AP, you know, it might take a little longer to get to your turn, but you know what, if you tell people, hey, think on your turn when it's not your turn, so when it's there, you can do it. Usually if you can coach people on that, it's, it wasn't that bad, but it could possibly be. But other than that, it's a no-brainer. This is an awesome expansion. Oh, and add orange, my wife's favorite color, no-brainer. Great thing, love the five to six player. Um, other than a little bit more downtime, uh, it allows you to play it in a lot more circumstances. So I definitely love the five to six player. Let's talk about the dolphin and dive dice. So. I have sort of mixed reactions on the dive dice. Uh, I, I do love the idea of being able to roll the boat. I love the idea of being able to roll a wild. The thing I'm not crazy about is the amount, you know, because it, cha it changes the game. So before you have the creature die, the red creature die, and when you roll it, if a sea serpent comes up, you know it's only moving zero or one. So when you're strategic game playing, if you're moving your boat to the island, you know if I'm, you know, uh, more than one away, there's a pretty good chance that two people aren't going to roll that in a row and I'm going to be safe. But now you have to think, okay, now everybody can move it up to three. So it kind of changes your strategy a little bit. You have to stay a little further out. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just different. You have to get used to it. Um, but overall, I did like it because being able to roll the wild and being able to roll the, the dive uh, where things can get moved to any, uh, any you know, um, unoccupied space, I really like that. The dolphins are cool. I think I would like it better if and again, you could just house rule this, but when you pull the dolphin tile up, the red one, where you put the dolphin, you should be able to choose to either put the dolphin there or keep the tile. Because sometimes you've got no swimmers really, and having the dolphin isn't gonna really do a whole lot for you, but having that tile later on might really help you get someone to the island before the, game, before the volcano erupts. Um, so I do like having the dolphins. I like the idea 
that they can save a swimmer. That way a swimmer is not just totally gonna get killed by a shark. I do like the idea, but I also like the idea that you could probably have the option as to which one you want to go because there were times where the dolphin came out and was like, oh man, I could have really used that, that tile to move me three spaces. So I love the idea, uh, but I might house rule it to have the option. That way you can get the best of both worlds. Uh, so overall, great. Um, on the giant squid, okay, so the squid, man, there it's mayhem. So they, uh, I mentioned in the video that I didn't like it how when it came about, and people moved it right to a, you know, when it when it appeared, when a whale tile came up and appeared, it automatically killed somebody. Nowhere else in the game, in one thing, boom, one of your guys is dead. So I thought it was a little bit too powerful. So I do play with that variant number two, where when the squid shows up the first time, he doesn't kill someone on the island. That gives you one chance to kind of get your butt out of there. So, but other than that, I liked it. I liked how they that and the way you can move it anytime you move the whale. I liked how they can combat each other. It added another spice to the game. So overall, the three expansions, what do I think? I don't think any of them are must-haves. I don't think you're not going to enjoy the game with it. It's a great game without the expansions. Um, I would say the only must-have is the five to six player. The other two, they're definitely great. They definitely add a lot to it. They're not a must-have, but it gives me the idea of once I play this game with a lot with other people, I'm going to break these out for some different things and some different ideas, and it's going to allow the more replayability value in the game. But if I play with new players, I'll probably probably just play it without the expansion the first few times until they get used to it all. But it's definitely it's so cheap that why not get it and add it to it, right? Good job, Stronghold Games. Thank you so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.